The 555 timer IC is an integrated circuit used in a variety of timer, pulse generation, and oscillator applications. The 555 can be used to provide time delays, as an oscillator, and as a flip-flop element. Derivatives provide up to four timing circuits in one package. Introduced in 1971 by Signetics, the 555 is still in widespread use due to its ease of use, low price, and stability. It is now made by many companies in the original bipolar and also in low-power CMOS types. As of 2003, it was estimated that 1 billion units are manufactured every year. Design The IC was designed in 1971 by Hans Kamen signed under contract to Signetics, which was later acquired by Philips. Depending on the manufacturer, the standard 555 package includes 25 transistors, 2 diodes and 15 resistors on a silicon chip installed in an 8-pin mini dual inline package. Variants available include the 556, and the 2558 and 559. The NE 555 parts were commercial temperature range, 0 a degree Celsius to plus 70 a degree Celsius, and the SE 555 part number designated the military temperature range, a 55 a degree Celsius to plus 125 a degree Celsius. These were available in both high-reliability metal can and inexpensive epoxy plastic packages. Thus the full part numbers were NE555B, NE555T, SE555B, and SE555T. It has been hypothesized that the 555 got its name from the 3.5 a key copyright resistors used within, but Hans Kamenzeind has stated that the number was arbitrary. Low-power versions of the 555 are also available, such as the 7555 and CMOS TLC 555. The 7555 is designed to cause less supperly noise than the classic 555 and the manufacturer claims that it usually does not require a control capacitor and in many cases does not require a decoupling capacitor on the power supply. Those parts should generally be included, however, because noise produced by the time or variation in power supply voltage might interfere with other parts of a circuit or influence its threshold voltages. Pins The connection of the pins for a DIP package is as follows. Pin 5 is also sometimes called the control voltage pin. By applying a voltage to the control voltage input one can alter the timing characteristics of the device. In most applications, the control voltage input is not used. It is usual to connect a 10 nF forwards capacitor between pin 5 and 0 V to prevent interference. The control voltage input can be used to build an astable with a frequency modulated output. Modes The 555 has three operating modes, monostable mode. In this mode, the 555 functions as a one-shot pulse generator. Applications include timers, missing pulse detection, bouncer-free switches touch switches, frequency divider, capacitance measurement, pulse width modulation and so on. Astable mode, the 555 can operate as an oscillator. Users include LED and lamp flashes, pulse generation, logic clocks, tone generation, security alarms, pulse position modulation and so on. The 555 can be used as a simple ADC, converting an analog value to a pulse length. For example, selecting a thermistor as timing resistor allows the use of the 555 in a temperature sensor, the period of the output pulse is determined by the temperature. The use of a microprocessor-based circuit can then convert the pulse period to temperature, linearize it and even provide calibration means. By stable mode or Schmidt trigger, the 555 can operate as a flip-flop, if the DIS pin is not connected and no capacitor is used. Users include bounce-free latched switches. Monostable In the monostable mode, the 555 timer acts as a single pulse generator. The pulse begins when the 555 timer receives a signal at the trigger input that falls below a third of the voltage supply. The width of the output pulse is determined by the time constant of an RC network which consists of a capacitor and a resistor. The output pulse ends when the voltage on the capacitor equals two-thirds of the supply voltage. 
the output pulse width can be lengthened or shortened to the need of the specific application by adjusting the values of R and C. The output pulse width of time T, which is the time it takes to charge C to two-thirds of the supply voltage, is given by where T is in seconds, R is in ohms and C is in farads, capacitance. While using the timer IC in monostable mode, the main disadvantage is that the time span between any two triggering pulses must be greater than the RC time constant. Bistable In bistable mode, the 555 timer acts as a basic flip-flop. The trigger and reset inputs are held high via pull-up resistors while the threshold input is simply floating. Thus configured, pulling the trigger momentarily to ground acts as a set and transitions the output pin to VCC. Pulling the reset input to ground acts as a reset and transitions the output pin to ground. No timing capacitors are required in a bistable configuration. Pin 5 is connected to ground via a small value capacitor. Pin 7 is left floating. Astable In astable mode, the 555 timer puts out a continuous stream of rectangular pulses having a specified frequency. Resistor A1 is connected between VCC and the discharge pin and another resistor is connected between the discharge pin and the trigger and threshold pins that share a common node. Hence the capacitor is charged through a 1 and a 2, and discharged only through a 2, since pin 7 has low impedance to ground during output low intervals of the cycle, therefore discharging the capacitor. In the astable mode, the frequency of the pulse stream depends on the values of R1, R2 and C. The high time from each pulse is given by and the low time from each pulse is given by where R1 and R2 are the values of the resistors in ohms and C is the value of the capacitor in farads. The power capability of R1 must be greater than particularly with bipolar 555s, low values of must be avoided so that the output stays saturated near zero volts during discharge, as assumed by the above equation. Otherwise the output low time will be greater than calculated above. The first cycle will take appreciably longer than the calculated time, as the capacitor must charge from OV to two-thirds of VCC from power up, but only from one-third of VCC to two-thirds of VCC on subsequent cycles. To achieve a duty cycle of less than 50% a small diode can be placed in parallel with R2, with the cathode on the capacitor side. This bypasses R2 during the high part of the cycle so that the high interval depends approximately only on R1 and C. The presence of the diode is a voltage drop that slows charging on the capacitor so that the high time is longer than the expected and often cited LN, 2, R1C equals 0 0.693 R1C. The low time will be the same as without the diode as shown above. With a diode, the high time is where VDIODE is when the diode has a current of one half of VCC01 which can be determined from its data sheet or by testing. As an extreme example, when VCC equals 5 and VDIODE equals 0 0.7, high time equals 1.00R1C which is 45% longer than the expected 0.693R1C. At the other extreme, when VCC equals 15 and VDIODE equals 0.3, the high time equals 0.725R1C which is closer to the expected 0.693R1C. The equation reduces to the expected 0.693R1C if VDIODE equals 0. The operation of reset in this mode is not well defined, some manufacturer's parts will hold the output state to what it was when reset is taken low others will send the output either high or low. Specifications, these specifications apply to the NE555. Other 555 timers can have different specifications depending on the grade. Derivatives, many pin compatible variants, including CMOS versions, have been built by various companies. Bigger packages also exist with two or four timers on the same chip. The 555 is also known under the following type numbers, 556 Dual Timer. The dual version is called 556. It features two complete 555s in a 14-pin DIL package. 558 Quad Timer, the quad version is called 558 and has 16 pins. 
to fit four 555s into a 16-pin package the power, control voltage, and reset lines are shared by all four modules. Each module's discharge and threshold circuits are wired together internally. XTR650-651 Extended Functionality Hero Hype This version includes non-overlapped complementary outputs, coarse temperature sensor and on-chip 200 picofarads timing capacitance. Example Applications Joystick Interface Circuit Using the 558 Quad Timer the Apple II microcomputer used a quad timer 558 in monostable mode to interface up to four game paddles, or two joysticks to the host computer. It also used a single 555 for flashing the display cursor. A similar circuit was used in the IBM PC. In the joystick interface circuit of the IBM PC, the capacitor of the RC network was generally a 10 minifarads capacitor. The resistor of the RC network consisted of the potentiometer inside the joystick along with an external resistor of 2.2 kiloohms. The joystick potentiometer acted as a variable resistor. By moving the joystick, the resistance of the joystick increased from a small value up to about 100 kiloohms. The joystick operated at 5V, software running in the host computer started the process of determining the joystick position by writing to a special address. This would result in a trigger signal to the quad timer, which would cause the capacitor of the RC network to begin charging and cause the quad timer to output a pulse. The width of the pulse was determined by how long it took the C to charge up to two-thirds of 5V, which was in turn determined by the joystick position. The software then measured the pulse width to determine the joystick position. A wide pulse represented the full right joystick position, for example, while a narrow pulse represented the full left joystick position. See also Counter, op-amp, oscillator, RC circuit, references. Further reading, 555 Timer Applications Sourcebook Experiments. H. Berlin. BPB Publications. 218 pages. 2008. ISBN 978-8176567909. Timer, op-amp, and optoelectronic circuits and projects. Forest MIMS 3. Master Publishing. 128 pages. 2004. ISBN 978-0-945053-29-3. Engineers Mini Notebook Hello Euro 555 Timer IC Circuits Forest MIMS 3 Radio Shack 33 pages 1989 A Scene B100MN54A6 IC Timer Cookbook 2nd ed. Walter G. Young Sam's Publishing 384 pages 1983 ISBN 978-0-672-21932-0. Timer Applications Sourcebook with Experiments. Howard M. Berlin. Sam's Publishing. 158 pages. 1979. ISBN 978-0-672-21538-4. I see 555 projects. Each par. Bernard Babani Publishing. 144 pages. 1978. ISBN 978-0-85934-047-2. External links. 555 timer circuits a euro the astable, monostable and bistable, simple 555 timer circuits. Java simulation of 555 oscillator circuit, NE555 frequency and duty cycle calculator for astable multivibrators, using NE555 as a temperature DSP, 555 timer tutorial, common mistakes when using a 555 timer, 555 and 556 timer circuits, 555 using areas and example circuits, Working with 555 timer circuits engineers garage, analysis and 
synthesis of a 555 astable multivibrator circuit, online calculator, online simulations of a 555 astable multivibrator circuit, online simulator, IC data sheets, NE555, single bipolar timer, Texas Instruments, NE556, dual bipolar timer, Texas Instruments, NE558, quad bipolar timer, NXP, LMC555, single CMOS timer, Texas Instruments, ICM755X, single slash dual CMOS timer, and Tercel, ZSCT1555, single CMOS timer, Diodes Incorporated, TS300X, single CMOS timers, Touchstone, XTR65X, High REL High Temp Timer, XREL, 